So hi guys, it's me again, Rofa, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a kind of different setting of my um, background for this video and my camera is actually not straight. So yes, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rofa and for those who are new, Hello, I am Rofa and this is kind of new setting because I am actually trying my eyes hot because I am actually trying the lightning that Odrus Odrus not my husband but Odrus who gave me this lightning um so I am trying it right now well I find it awesome oh my god my eyes is like really very you know like I am sleepy <laughs> No, because I am sleepy. It's already because actually it's already almost twelve, and I am still filming. Um, because earlier I was like having troubles on how to fix stuff, something. So my eyes is like closing by itself. So, okay, I want to shout out for someone because I find this boy very cute, and they are actually kind of not arguing, but kind of yeah, kind of arguing. So I gotta shout out with this. People, hi to Ignas Tube. Hi, you're so cute. And hi to Redmantas LTU. And hi to Google. And yeah, those three, they're actually kind of arguing on my um, video in the what is this video? The most happy place in Lithuania, Mega. Yeah, for me, that's the video where they're arguing, and I find them very cute. Um. Yeah, so shout out to these little boys and girls. Yeah. Today I will be talking about something like my experience when I was in here in Lithuania. Like, it's kind of weird and like clumsy experience or the thing or the stupid things that I did when I was here in Lithuania for the very first time and also like the current one. So, without any further ado, let's start. Um,. Way back when I was still in the Philippines and Odus also was still in the Philippines. We haven't been here to Lithuania yet. Like we were just new in our relationship. It was not only Odrus and his best friend who was in there. Like there are also some Lithuanians who were like in there. So of course I have met some Lithuanians in there. And there was also like one guy, I'm not gonna mention what is his name. He was talking like, oh like I um I guess like um, it will be impossible that me and Odus will be together because it's not usual here in Lithuania to have a, a the Lithuanian we're gonna have a Asian girlfriend or Asian partner so uh, so when at that time I was actually very scared already like oh my gosh I guess he's right it's impossible and because Odus is also like like being so cheeky he was like telling me a lot of like jokes that i thought that it's really true he was also he once told me like um it was like until 19 that 19 or that he still believed in santa claus so i thought that it was really true that like lithuania has a different like beliefs or like how it works in here and then how it works in the philippines i thought that it is totally different so i was like expecting something different about Lithuania so I was scared already well anyway um when me and when Odus decided that he'll gonna take me to Lithuania I was already like a bit scared like how how it gonna be like if like especially like um his grandparents because when it's grandparents of course it's more traditional more like um old-fashioned how they think so I was scared that they will not gonna add it that it will be like totally different that i am asian okay we already we, we were already here in lithuania so of course i was preparing myself like like to have an impression you know to be a good girl but well i am actually a good girl but it's different like i was like i i was preparing myself to be more behave and not being clumsy or careless because i'm a kind of person like which is a bit clumsy like I am like careless of everything so I did when I was in here for the very first time in Lithuania it was like last 2015 well um, it turned out like 
um, in what I didn't expect. Like I thought that it would be okay because I would be like you know like I would be behave, but I did a lot of stuff like kind of not nice stuff, and not only once, not only twice, but quite a lot. And let's start with number one. When we were here in Lithuania for the very first time, we we were staying in Oda's parents' place. Yes, so. There was a time that his grandpa Odo's grandparents visited in Kaunas because they they live in Molete, so they visited Kaunas. So yeah, it was my first time to meet them also. I wash I wash I was washing a dishes. Odo's grandma went to the kitchen to throw something in the um, trash can. I actually was not in my right mind. Why did I open the cabinet? Like, of course, yeah, when you are washing a dishes, I have to open the cabinet to put stuff. But I forgot that his grandma is actually um, right under me throwing a trash. So when she um, stand up, her head bumped into the door of the cabinet for those plates and it was like quite hard you know and it was my fault and it we, we just we it was just the first time that we met each other so it was like kind of oh my god what did i do like it was, it was like quite embarrassing and like i was so clumsy like totally like i didn't think that she was gonna stand up and then if she was gonna stand up she was gonna bump her head so I was like, I don't, I don't remember. Did I? What did I do about that dog? Uh, I'm not sure. I forgot. <coughs> yeah. So like, I feel so shy, and it seems like I had already a bad, a bad uh, Im impression to the grandma of Odo's because of that one. The second one, um, I actually, I how many people who know this one? Maybe only Odo's and like. Um, I guess only two of them know that I freaked out easily like totally like so it's it's one of the thing that I hate the most because I hate the most because I freaked out easily so I I was like walking go uh, walking towards the kitchen of Odo's parents house place something um, it was actually not night it was a daylight so when I just opened the door, going to the kitchen, um, Odru's mom just went out from the CR. And when I saw her, I freaked out like, oh, like that. And like, you know, if I am the person or I am in the, in the shoe of Odru's mom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel upset like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Why did she freak out? Am I, a, am I a monster or something like that? And like, it's not like a simple freaked out, but like, it seems like I was scared. It seems like I saw a monster, you know, like that kind of feeling. And, and I feel so embarrassed because I feel it seems like I am so rude. So I told others about that and said, "No, it's okay, something like that." He was oh, he's always like that. It's okay, it's something like that. So yeah, like it seems like I am really very rude. Like oh my god. So the third one is like um, to his dad. His dad was because here in Lithuania, there's um, the bathroom and the toilet is different. It has like the toilet is different and has a the other door and yeah, they right. uh, yeah i mean separate yeah the the toilet is on the separate room and then the bathroom is on a separate room so um i was maybe like on the bathroom i was washing my hands or like washing my face or i just took a bath and his dad was actually on the other room and the switch is actually together so i turned off the the lights on the toilet where Odo's dad was in there like um and it took me a while to realize that it was actually off i just said wait i guess i turned off the wrong light so can you imagine it was totally dark in there and his dad and his dad was in the toilet and it was like oh my god and it, it's actually that feeling like i just met these people and they're the parents of my boyfriend and like you know i should be like be more like more like careful but no i did a lot of like messy stuff like totally embarrassing stuff like okay so yeah i turn it on again something yeah 
all of us, like all those parents, all those, all those sister, me, went to Molete to visit um, his grandparents in Molete. So, um, it was my first time to be there also in Molete. That was the very first time that I visited Molete. And then, we usually stay in Molete for like two days, like something like that. Usually in the weekends. Yeah, we had a lot of fun in there, like something. I was able to see how, what is Molete for the very first time. And then, when we were about to go in to go home or like to come back in Kaunas, um, it was time to say goodbye, something. So like I said goodbye to old Rose, um, grandma's hug and then to the other person hug. And when I am about to hug the other person, I for just forgot maybe it was his grandpa or old Rose, tata, 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 like aunt. Um, I hugged her and then when I hugged her, old Rose, grandma was at the back. And when I hug her, the, the, the tita or the aunt of Odus, I punch accidentally the grandma of Odus like, Oh my god, like really, and you know, like that feeling, that feeling, and when you are in that feeling, like, I feel like, oh, like, Opa, why did they hate my grandma? <laughs> I don't hate her. It was an <laughs> accident, you know, and I really didn't even have the chance to say sorry because I was totally in shock that I punched her and I was like, oh my god, I just like ignored at that time, like, oh my god, I am really sorry to grandma, like really, I didn't mean it, but it was just an accident, like, I feel so embarrassed, and then from that moment, all those keep on teasing me, like, okay, we were gonna go to Mulete again, please don't hit my grandma, please don't hurt my grandma again, because every time I hurt his, his grandma, I always tell him, like, Odus, you know, I did something bad to your grandma. <laughs> so he was teasing me. Do you hate my grandma in Mulete? Like, of course not. I don't hate her. It's just like, I don't know why. I always, like, did or uh, do something not nice to Odus, grandma in Mulete. Because Odus has two grandma. Grandma here in Kaunas and grandma in Mulete. And then, so far in Kaunas, she's fine. She didn't experience bad from me. So, so far. <laughs> so far. But my god, the oldest girl my Molete, like, I did a lot of not nice stuff to her already, like, totally, it's very embarrassing, and I feel guilty because she always cooks very nice food to us, and what I do in return is, like, hit her. <laughs> oh my god, I hope she, like, at that time, I, I said, like, I hope she will not gonna hate me, but so far, she loves me, actually, so I'm happy. This evening, and then after that evening, we are about to go to Philippines to go back to Philippines. Me and Odus. We were like already like um, before we before the day of our flight. We were sitting every one of us like talking like saying something about about everything before we will gonna live. So after that night, we like we were very emotional something, and okay, everyone went to sleep. Everyone and me and Odus was like we were we were the ones who were late to go to bed. So um, I guess I went to the CR to pee or something, and then because I'm a scare baby, you know. When I'm a scare baby, I always like 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 like. So I after I went to the CR, I went to the bedroom. And when I closed the bedroom, everyone was sleeping, I closed the door loud, like totally loud. And I like, like, it seems, it's, it, of course, it's embarrassing because everyone is sleeping. Can you imagine? And you close the door loud. And I actually didn't mean it because I thought like it will be okay, but it was totally loud. And for sure, everyone like freaked out and like, what the hell was that? So... It was embarrassing and I really cried. Like I told oh like oh like I was I was crying. Do you, do you remember that dog? Yeah. Yeah, and I was crying a lot. Like I said, like, oh my god, I am so rude. Everyone is sleeping and I just like closed the door like that. They were gonna think that I am so rude and we are about to go home to Philippines at that time. Uh, um in the morning at that time. So I was like, oh my god, I cannot like like I don't know how many minutes I was crying and I, like for more, I feel horrible I feel ter I feel terrible like so much like 
Oh my god, it was very embarrassing. Of of course, like parents or fa Odrus family were expecting that I should I was gonna take good care of Odrus when we were in the Philippines already. So and they trusted me because Odrus would be with me in the Philippines. But when the moment we arrived in the Philippines, their son got deported. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I I I don't it's like it seems like I was coarse at that time. Like, why is this happening to me? We just left. I did something not nice. And we um, we just arrived in the Philippines. Odus was so tired. And he got deported. And if I am the parents of Odus, I feel like, what the hell is happening? Like, it seems like I, you know? So I, it was also, like, not nice experience for me. So... So far, that was my experience when I was in here for the very first time in, in, in Lithuania. And I thought that when we were gonna be here again, this, not this year, but the second time, like the current. So, um, we arrived here in Lithuania for, uh, we arrived here in Lithuania like around midnight. So, of course, it's midnight, you cannot go out anymore. So. We went immediately to Kaunas, from Vilnos to Kaunas, and sleep. After that day, um, in the morning, we went out, me, Odrus, and he, uh, we went to, I said Italute? I'm not sure if it's Italute restaurant, I am not sure. And his friends, it was like, how many friends was there? Wait, one, one, two, three, four, five? Something, and it, it's all guys. And we ordered something, so like that. It's just our first day, um, to be exact, just our first day here in Lithuania for the, like, at the current, the current one. So, I ordered a latte, cappuccino or latte, it's a coffee. Um, I just sip once, but I only sip the bubble of the, like, the foam of the coffee. And then I was like so clumsy looking around and I saw a baby. So I was like, oh, I was, I, you know, I, I feel amazed. Like, oh, it's a baby. So when I put down the coffee, I didn't notice that the, the small plate of the coffee is actually like there's a hole. So you have to put it at the center. But I wasn't looking. So when I put the coffee, I let it go. And then when I turn around, bam. Bob, everything was on my body. Like I was, I, I, I took a shower with the coffee, and like it was totally very embarrassing. And everyone was like looking at me, and like, and then <coughs> the couch or the sofa of Taluti was ruined. Like it was like um a lot of coffee, and I was like, oh my god, I just and I some of his friends I just met at that time for the very first time, and I already like. The, ver the first impression, their first impression of me is like, oh my god, this Asian girl is total fucked up, like total, cl totally clumsy. And I was like very embarrassed and like, I was wearing a white t-shirt. Like, so all of the coffee was like in here, like really, and I like, my whole body. And, um, the waitress, like they, they're so nice because they give me another coffee, but I don't want to drink coffee anymore. I want to go home. So good thing, um, Odus friend sent us to uh, send us home. So yeah, but I went when I was walking, going home, my pants is about to to fall down. And um, how do you call that one? Yeah, to fall uh, like to to drop because it's totally wet. Can you imagine? You walk like and with a wet pan. So like it was like oh my god, like it's disgusting. It's very sticky, and it was just our first day here in. <laughs> it was just our first day here in Kaunas, and some of those people or person or guys in there. It was my first time to meet them, and like, yeah, I don't know. So for me, it was kind of embarrassing. But as of the moment, so far after that coffee, I haven't done anything wrong anymore. Or I haven't done like total disaster anymore, I guess. So wait, let me ask Aldo. Did I love? Not anymore, right? I'm not sure. After that coffee incident, I guess I didn't like mess up anymore. Wait, I guess I did not mess up anymore. It was the last time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, because for me it's embarrassing, especially um, the first time when I was in here. Because you know, you have to leave a impression to the parents of your boyfriend. But I guess I leave a quite like, you know, a clumsy impression like... So, yeah, it was embarrassing and I am sharing this one to you. Yeah, I'm just paranoid, it was okay, all good. No, I don't think so, it was all good. Can you imagine? It's not only once or twice, it sounds like how many... It's not a big deal. Maybe it's not so much a big deal for you, but for me it's like, you know, I am a kind of paranoid, so for me it's kind of a big deal. So, anyway, that's the uh, my clumsiness here in Lithuania. I am just sharing it to you guys, so to make fun of me, to laugh at me. So, um, but I, I'm not sure, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, that's it. I don't know what to say. Who has the same experience when you just like first to met the parents of your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you did some clumsiness. Share it to me. Leave it on the comment section below. I'll appreciate it if you're gonna share your clumsy moments. So, I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna reply and I'm gonna comfort you because I also felt the same. So, yes, that's it for this story time. And, yeah, it was quite, I know, I'm not sure if it's quite long video. I guess not so much, just a bit. I guess it will be a quite long video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little story time again. And see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. And if you are new on my channel and not yet subscribed, consider subscribing now. So you're gonna hear and be notified to my another story time or to my another vlog. So, see you. Iki, acho, atta. Labanat, Gero Bakaro.